Coming up, how the health of your teeth could reveal the overall health of your body. Don't go away. Don't go away. <laughs> Welcome back to Studio One. Tonight we are focusing on health and we are starting with something that many of you will find surprising. Yes, believe it or not, the condition of your pearly whites, your teeth and of course your gums could be a sign that you have other more serious health problems. Here to tell us why is Dr. Dominique Caron from the Versailles Dental Clinic. Thank you for being with us, sir. Welcome. Thank you for your invitation. Uh, fascinating subject, this. Um, I'm sure it's a, sort of a chapter of dental medicine at the moment that is evolving as we find out more with research. But in terms of the health issues, the further health issues, more serious health issues we're discussing, what sort of signs can we look out for in our oral health that could suggest a more serious health problem? You see, the, the point is that the mouth is not a lonely part of the body, just uh, the gateway. And the mucosa are very sensitive to anything that can affect the whole body. Mm. So, of course, if you have a serious disease, you can see some effect in the mouth. When you have uh, swelling gums, uh, bleeding gums, of course, uh, mouth ulcer, or dry mouth, there is no good reason for it. Mm. Mm. So, most of the time, it's a signal that shows that there is uh, another problem to look at. Mm. Mm. Now, of course, our oral health is an indication of our overall body health, as we mentioned earlier. But can poor oral hygiene also lead to other health problems? Of course, and that's the main point. Uh, you see, in your mouth, every day, uh, you have billions of bacteria. Mm. So as long as you have a shell, you have a good oral hygiene, your mucosa is uh, waterproof, uh, you have a good defense and everything is okay. As soon as you have swelling gums, you have deep decays, uh, you have, uh, as soon as the shield is broken, you have an open way for the bacteria, and they spread uh, overall, uh, they can uh, go into the blood spread and after this, they stop where they want. Mm. But doctor, when, want. Do, when do we know when the problem is serious enough? Because sometimes because of hot or cold food, we might uh, damage or cut the roof of our mouth, burn our tongue, etc. But usually these kind of burns and swellings, they disappear in under two weeks. When do we know that it's, it's high time that we went and consulted a dentist? It is something that never happens only once or for a very short term. It may be something superficial with no serious reason. But when you have swollen gums all the time, you d have bad breath, uh, you don't feel healthy in your mouth. Mm. Something not always very square, but you need, as you can expect, to visit your dentist regularly to make sure there is nothing hidden. Because most of the time, when you can uh, see the problem yourself, because you feel a cavity somewhere, or you feel pain, to make it very short, it's too late. So you need to go to the dentist first and regularly. <laughs> Let's take one um, health issue uh, individually here, diabetes. There is a link between bad oral health and mm. diabetes. So from that first point, what should we be looking out for ourselves in our oral health, our, our, our mouth and our gums, our teeth and our gums, in terms as a signal, if you like, a symptom of diabetes? As soon you don't have thin, light pink, gums, something you can forget. Uh, as soon you, you feel unhealthy, you have swollen gums. As soon you see blood when you brush, there is no good reason. Yeah. So go and see the dentist, make a good cleaning, and first he will check everything. So, so this doesn't mean, all these symptoms we're talking about doesn't mean you've got diabetes, it just is a possible signal that there could be other problems? It's something possible, yes. not more. Okay. Now, doctor, I'd like to take you back to, you mentioned bad breath earlier. Now, besides, of course, uh, poor oral hygiene and the, the certain kind of foods that we consume, bad breath can also come from various other reasons, and sometimes it can be more odorous than other reasons. So can this lead to any serious um, diseases? Not really. You can have two, two, two ways for bad breath. It can come from the stomach. Mm -hmm. It's no more my problem. Uh, it can come from oral disease, from hidden decays, from uh, bad health. Uh, so anyway, something to fix. Mm. And once more, there is no good reason for it. It means something heavier. Yeah. 
Um, listen, we grow up being taught that we have to brush uh, at least twice a day, uh, possibly more. We're taught dental uh, health all the time. What about self-checking and oral health? How do uh, we individually check our oral health, our gums and more? It's always very easy. Uh, there is one easy way to improve your, the way you brush. Uh, you have anywhere in pharmacy some coloring agent. Yeah. You brush following the, the way uh, you feel the best. Yeah. And afterwards, you check with a coloring agent. If you see something colored on your gums, it means you are not efficient. Mm. Change the way to brush. Really? Mm. So it's coloring agent that you should Only be looking for? Only simple. Mm. Everything is a matter of common sense. Yeah. Right, doctor, what I about like some it. of us who've never visited a dentist in their life? I have never visited a dentist in my life uh, until about last year when I went for some teeth whitening. But I don't have any kind of problem in terms of uh, gum bleeding or swelling or everything looks, smells and feels great. Should I still be checking <laughs> with the dentist? <laughs> it means good education and good efficiency. But you are one among many different others. Yes. <laughs> really? Wow. It's all yes. coming out. Penultimate show of the season. We're wearing it all tonight. Okay. <laughs> Any other admissions? Well, no. no Th that tonight. is all for now. <laughs> Dominique, thank you very much indeed for being with us. Bless you. Welcome. Thank you for your time. Thank, Thank you for your so good much. advice. If you'd like to get in touch with uh, Dr. Dominique, then you can do so through our Facebook page. It's facebook.com forward slash Studio One Live. Right.